and I'm coming to you with day 10 of 30 ink 30 days. I'm very excited. We're going to mix up our ink and um, yeah, and then pick one. So I've closed my eyes. Okay, I don't know what we're gonna pick. I'm just gonna go kind of in what I hope is the middle and hopefully you can see what that is. And um, yeah. Okay, so I have no idea what we have. I left my, oh, I left my pen in my work bag. I have been enjoying this immensely. It's bright and eye searing, and I have just loved every minute of writing with it. Um, I have a Hobonichi that I use at work for um, like keeping track of like to-dos and stuff like that. And um, I will say, I don't know if you can um, see, I don't know if you can tell but it's kind of, oh, it's not focusing, but it's kind of shiny. Like, I think you can see that. Like, when the light hits it just right, there's a reflection. It's shiny. Um, Noodler's Rock Modern Off does the same thing because I think it's basically, I don't know if it's, like, freaking nail polish or whatever, but it's, like, that sort of consistency. And so, yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's been really fun to write with, I have to say. Like, as bright and like obnoxious as it is I have had such a fun time using it today but in the in honor of your eyes we're going to flip our pages and um, I'm going to reveal to myself because you already know our ink of the day so our ink of the day is colorverse walk the dog we have another Casey ink <laughs> thank you Casey I feel like I'm gonna have to ban Casey from um inks um from inks the rest of the month um that's not true but yeah so we have colorverse walk the dog it looks like it's a really pretty green um looks like it's a similar green to maybe brain i'm not sure and i think for shading purposes i'm going to use my sailor 1911 fresca i know that um uh, at least one of you was like wanting to see this pen in action. I have a zoom nib on mine. So um, yeah, so I think we're going to go ahead and ink up this pen with this ink and that will be our choice for today. The zoom nib is kind of fun if you've never um, used it before. Get my kitty cat and cat holder or vial holder. Um, so, okay, so we'll go ahead and fill this ink. Um, the zoom nib is really interesting if you've never tried it before. It is, um, it's a nib where, um, it's, hold on, let me, let me wipe this off and I'll show you. It's just a very large nib. Let me see if you can see this. Put this on. It has a very large, um, like, tipping, but the nib it has, like, it's really thick, and, but it's, the way it's ground, okay, so the way it's ground, it's ground so you can write at many different angles, and you can even reverse the angle, like, reverse right, and it's a finer line. So I'll show you that to you in the writing sample, but, um, yeah. It's a kind of a, it's kind of a cool concept. And this um, ink is from the, uh, I think it's like the Ordinary series or Ordinary Life series or something like that. Um, and it comes in the 30 mil bottles. So that's, that's interesting. A nice, a nice like subdued. I think it'll look really nice next to, next to this though. Okay, but first, before we get started, let's do some splats. And as I've said before, this is Tomoe River paper. This is 68 gram Tomoe River paper. Um, just because that's what I had available. I have some 52 gram paper, but I have, um, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't know where that was when I was cu cutting these like squares. Um, I've since found the few pages I have left that are loose. Um, but very nice. Very nice. You know, I like these um, olive green colors, so we'll see what that looks like after it dries a little, little bit. Um, I feel like this is all like set at a weird angle. Um, like my chair is off or oh, something's, something's not right. But anyway, it's okay. So, so this is a 1911. This is a 1911 standard. It's the like smaller version. It's not the um, large. 
and um, this is my very first uh, pen show purchase. Um, I bought it at the San Francisco Pen Show in uh, 2017, 2018. I honestly don't even remember at this point. I think it was 2017 because I wanted to go back in 2018 and I want to go back in 2019 and then I was going to go back in 20, like 2020 and that didn't happen. So Oh yeah, um, it is happening this year, and I'm not sure if I'm going to get to go now because my Green Day concert got postponed, or got rescheduled to that same Friday. Um, I might be able to go on the weekend, but um, we'll see, I don't know. Three weeks, three days, this is a day. 10 we've uh, we're a third of the way through the month everybody can you believe it um ink They zoomed it. Okay, so I'm going to kind of, here it is like at a high angle. I'm going to kind of do some like lines. And then you can reverse right. And it's very fine. So. Here's like kind of the line variation you get. It kind of goes from like a fine to like maybe a double broad. I don't, I'm not sure what the actual like official like nib sizes are, but like the higher you hold the pen, the finer it writes and the lower you hold the pen, the um, wider it writes. So we'll do some. if you can see that but yeah okay let's let's do some of this this action here I'm not sure if the ink is dry or if my pen's just kind of dry right now. Or if it just doesn't like this, if this ink in this pen doesn't like this paper. That's a possibility. So, okay. So, thank you. stuff. I feel like there's somebody at my... Oops. I'm gonna prime the feet a little bit. I don't think that I have to, but I feel like it's writing kind of dry. I 
Okay, so let's try our Moromon paper. I'm actually going to post this again. I prefer the weight of the cap on the back. So our ink. The reverse writing is very light. It's a very fine line. These are terrible squigglies. So this ink has like really nice shading. I wonder. I was gonna say I wonder if it's the same color as brain, but I think it's slightly lighter. Okay, so this ink has some nice shading and is relaxing ink to use falling yesterday. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Take a look. I don't necessarily know that I like it in this pen though. Um, we'll take a look at our splats. They're mostly dry. You can see that there's some lovely, um, like, it almost looks kind of high patches. Um, it almost looks like it could dual shade on the right paper. Um, got that yellow in there. It's very nice, very nice. So let's go ahead and write on here. I do be careful because this is still wet. Um, day 10. Awesome. So thank you, Casey, for sending this ink. I'm glad I finally get to use it. I've been kind of wanting to use it, so. I'm glad that I have the um, chance to now. Okay, but I'm telling you right now, if I pick another Casey ink for tomorrow, we're gonna throw it back and pick another pen friend. <laughs> I love, Kate. I think Casey sent me the ink, the most ink out of anybody. Um, so that's why she has so many samples. And I tried to like kind of keep some out, but then I found that original bag and wanted to add some inks that I wanted to use in there. So there's that. So thank you, Casey, for today's ink. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to using it. And um, yeah, having a nice relaxing time after yesterday's <laughs> after yesterday's selection. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. And I will see you again tomorrow with another 30 inks, 30 days. Take care. Love you, bye.